Halo, halo. Alright guys, so today we started early. We already woke up like around six o'clock. We're heading out to the first appointment, which is cross town in Manhattan Beach. So right now we're in downtown LA. Good morning. Good morning. So we just showed up to this Tesla. And as you can see, Aaron's gonna go ahead and show you some B-roll footage of some water spots that's all on this vehicle, which this has already been ceramic coated by us. And I feel like the water spots might have it already etched a little bit, but we will see once we go ahead and wash the car. And uh, yeah. <laughs> One thing I do want to point out before you guys actually start detailing, set your guys self up with the buckets, the foamer, the, the actual vacuum out, have everything ready. So that way when you're ready to start, you don't have to keep going back and forth. So that's what I'm doing right now, going ahead and getting everything situated so that way we can get on the rock and roll. See, I had a stock up over there at H2O. I had a stock up over there. Shout out to them. Got some new things. Temporary setup, but you know how to outfit it the way I like it. So we got some Coach Cami, we got some uh, <clears throat> PNS that I like, and then uh, we got some detail guards for the sides so that way the hoses don't get caught up. Just remember not to leave these because I personally have forgotten, and you know the customer runs them over, or my workers go ahead and forget because these things are so cheap, as in. Like you do not see them. And as, as soon as just a little tad bit forward, these things break. They're not cheap as in like the actual construction of them. It's just how the nature is. If you run this over, it's gonna get crushed. So don't forget them. Now that's the B, that little B roll of what I was talking about. go ahead and do these two at the same time. So guys, this is Coach Kemi MSN. Then we are using a brake buster for PNS. We already sprayed the tire. Now we're just gonna go ahead and spray it on the actual wheel. Quick and simple bucket setup. This is easy, stiff blue brush. Got to look at the wheel wells. Quick and easy, detail factory tire brush. Scrub that tire. Knock off all that grime. So when you're ready to put some tire shine on, it's ready to adhere to the actual tire. Put that to the side. Magic Max Shine Wheel Mint. Go ahead and use that for this. Then easy detail brush, the red one. Get inside the deep wheel of this wheel. That's pretty much how I do all my wheels. And if this had some painted calipers, I would use this detail factory brush also to get all up in the calipers, which this doesn't really have a painted one and then it's not dirty, so don't have to worry about that too much. But that's inside my bucket. Traditionally have a uh, a side piece, I forgot what the actual word is called, um, but that's where I store all my actual brushes once I'm done with them. Right now I don't have it on me, so it's just gonna be on the floor. So right now we're gonna go ahead and do the front one, and then I rinse off all my brushes before I put them back in the bucket, so that way the bucket doesn't get super, super dirty, and that way I have enough to go ahead and do all the other ones without having so much dirt on the brushes. So make sure you always pressure wash them before you put them back in the bucket. Go ahead and do the lower halves first. Just get it dialed in before you start doing the rest. Why do, you do, the lower Why do I do the lower half? Because that's where all the grime is. I want to go ahead and keep it in one area instead of going on the top, working itself down. 
handle the bottom first. Then you just take care of the last top area. Then you want to flip the towel every so often. Make sure everything's good. As you can see, not too bad. Look at that, guys. That was from the bottom of the actual vehicle. This has been ceramic coated. Good thing it wasn't too bad. And if it was bad, just go over here. Dunk it in your 360 grid guard. Wash it up like if you were gonna wash some t-shirts back in the days. Grab it out. Ring it out. As you can tell, like new. And we're gonna use one of my favorites. This is one out of two of my favorites. The Gion wash mitts. Great, great solid wash mitts. Go ahead and start with the top. Now, we don't gotta go all the way down and dirty this wash mitt. Just down the top areas. Flip it over, go to town. What are drone at? Police probably. That's the police drone. Got him. Shoot him down, shoot him down. It's funny, they can send that out before they even send a unit out, anybody out. It's like, oh, got him. Probably do this real quick, hold on. <laughs> oh, I just made it more in the middle. Great. <laughs> Go ahead and put that back in the corner. <laughs> That's why you gotta make sure these things are secure, because if not, they do come off. You gotta blow them out. <laughs> Just finished using the blow um, handgun. It's the first time actually using it. And I would say this is a good piece to add to your arsenal. I do have the big uh, Blow GT. That one works phenomenal. So I think I am going to go ahead and pick this up and add it to my personal arsenal. So this and the Blow GT would be hand in hand. And then again, you do have your air compressor. So just in case I do need a little extra more, but this works phenomenal. We're going to go ahead and use a Max Shine drying towel. But we are going to spray some of this Elix. Elix. Can't quite pronounce what the real name is. Shake it up real quick. Let's see. Give it a little shine. See how that works, see how that looks. Pretty smooth on the paint too. Worked well. So this Tesla is all wrapped up. You can go ahead and see. 